Well, the market for artificial lips might not be big, but Lindsay Fallow and David Wardell are out and about to meet some people who are hoping that their ideas will really take off. Their garden shed inventors and innovators of the southeast of England. This week, Inventions Plus comes from Sandown Park near Esher, where over 150 thoroughbred inventors are hoping to win prizes of up to £5,000. But more importantly, find the contacts to help make their inventions part of tomorrow's world. This is the multi-rest. It's a portable, individualised rest, which takes over from all of the other rests in snooker at the moment. Magic Mitre, set the template to your corner and it automatically transfers the angle of your corner to the workpiece. Once set, you lock the locking knobs to prevent further movement. You then put your saw and cut a perfect mitre. Well, to start with, I invented the Headmaster Pillow for sunbathing. You know how difficult it is putting your hands on your head. And then we realised the commercial applications for it. Having the hole in the centre allows you to breathe face down without supporting your hands. So the aromatherapy and massage market came into play, first of all. And now we're talking to hospitals and doctors and health service. And the pillow here now being developed for accidents and emergency as well. This is a scale model of a portable flood barrier, a honeycomb flood barrier to be more precise. Now, the idea is that the energy of the flood water is dissipated by the cells here, and then the weight of the water inside those cells enables it to act as a dam. Fantastic idea. Now, Ian Hawes, the inventor, is hoping that a full-scale prototype will be able to be tested later this year. And David Wardell has been checking out another prototype, which could also be saving lives in the near future. Now most inventions, at some stage, have to go through prototyping and a cheap and cheerful Blue Peter approach is usually the best way to do that. Believe it or not, James Dyson, with his dual cyclone vacuum cleaner, had to make over 5,000 prototypes and the first one was largely made of cardboard. Now this approach has been adopted for this brilliantly new and simple invention. It was invented by Paul Moore and his colleague Dr Colin Potter, who's with me now to explain it. Well, it's very, very simple. All we have is some small magnets attached to the reflectors in this case on our demonstration and uh, th these go past a coil here and produce a light on the, uh, with some LEDs. The nice thing about it is that there's no friction on the wheel as you get with a conventional dynamo, neither is it a heavy hub dynamo and uh, there are no batteries necessary at all. Right, so dynamos are not new. Is there anything that's particularly clever about this? I, I think it's the fact that there's nothing touching or rubbing that makes it work quite well. Obviously, as soon as you stop at crossroads or anything else, there are problems with the, uh, the, the fact that the lights go out with a standard dynamo. And we have a, a small charger attachment, right. um, which can charge some small NICADs, and these can keep a steady light going. Great, OK. Well, that's a good example of an invention at an early stage. A brilliant idea. The sort of thing that makes you want to slap your forehead and say, why didn't I think of that? Well, how do you prove to others that you did think of that? The most obvious answer would be a patent. Well, I'm joined by Sarah Collins from the Patent Office. Sarah, can you tell me what a patent's all about? A patent protects a device on how it's made. So basically, all that they need to do is file an application with us. Now, the application, the initial stages are free, and that protects you as a patent pending for 12 months. All they need to do is send the application form with a detailed written description and drawings, and that's sufficient so that somebody skilled in the field can actually reproduce it. But it's most important that you have to keep things secret before you bring your ideas to the patent office. Is this true? It's very important that they don't publicly disclose their invention in any way before they file it. That could be talking to somebody about it down the pub or exhibiting it. So can you tell me, how much does all this cost? Well, it's free to file for 12 months that there is a total cost of £200 for British patents. The international and the European patents do have extra charges and they can be in the thousands, but an initial application is free. That's great. Well, thank you, Sarah. To sum up, I think the most important message that we have to get across is keep your ideas secret until you've taken it to the patent office.
Well, that's it for now from Sandown Park. But before we go, check this out. It's hydrotherapy for horses. Now, the cold water is supposed to help with recovery from injury, and apparently they're already using it in the stables here. Well, we'll be keeping an eye on all this week's inventions, and for more information on any of our featured devices, check out our website at www.ukhorizons.co.uk. Cheers, Dobbin. Who knows if Colin and Paul's new cycle dynamo will make it? The idea is brilliant, but as we'll be finding out in the coming weeks, a brilliant idea is only the beginning of the struggle. As ever, tomorrow's World Plus will be keeping you informed of developers.